Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this cartoon text reveal animation in After Effects. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition for our characters. So we are going to type our letter one by one. So I'm going to call this character one. And for width and height, I'm going to set this to 800 by 800. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. So first we are going to create only a single letter. And after that, we are going to just duplicate it and replace it with other characters. So let's see how to do that. So let's select the text tool and I'm going to just click over here and I'm going to type cartoon. So I'm going to type the first character, which is C. And for this example, I'm using this ED Wood movies font, but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever you want. Now we can select this and let me just quickly set this to the center of this composition. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's make it anchor point in the center. So let's select this, hold on the control key and just double click on this. I'm going to select this, press S and let's scale this up to something like 300. So once we're done with this, we are ready to add this to our main composition. So let's go back to the main and let's drag our character just like that. Let's quickly add a background. So right click new solid and over here, I'm going to just change its color to something like this just for the preview purpose and let's place it below our character. So first, we are going to design our character and give it a certain type of look. So for that, first, I'm going to select this. Let's right click, go to layer style and I'm going to add a stroke. And let's go under the stroke options. Now let's change its color. So I'm going to pick a purple sort of shade, something like this and just click on OK. Now we're going to add a little bit of more size. So let's set this to six. So here you can see we have our character. Now let's add another layer style. So I'm going to select this right click layer style and let's add some inner shadow. And if I zoom in here, you can see we have the shadow. Let's tweak this further. So let's go under the shadow. First, I'm going to decrease the size to zero and let's increase the distance. And also let's decrease the opacity. So we have something like this and we can probably play around with the angle. So you can just make the shadow from whatever angle you want. For this example, I'm going to set it to something like this. So yeah, this is looking fine. So once you're happy with this, we are ready to add some 3D depth to this. So in order to do that, just select your character, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And on the bottom one, we are going to apply a couple of effects. So first I'm going to search for CC Radial Blur and let's drag it over here. And on this one, we are going to change the type from scratch to fading zoom. And after that, let's set the amount to something like negative 50. And here you can see we have some 3D depth. And now we are going to add another effect. So let's search for curves and let's drag it over here. And on this one, I'm going to change this to alpha and let's click somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to change this to the very edge so that the 3D depth is really sharp, something like this. And here you can see we have the depth. Now, if you want to play around with the angle, then you can play with the center amount, something like this, and it will add the effect just like that. And on this one, we are going to apply fill. So let's search for fill and let's drag it onto this. And I'm going to change the fill color to a really nice pink color. So let's set this to something like this and on this one we don't need any kind of inner shadow so i'm going to select this and let's go to the inner shadow and we can probably hide this or you can delete this just like this now we can select this press ctrl d once again and on this one i'm going to set the color to this color and also i'm going to increase the amount to negative 100 so that we have this depth as well just like this now you can play around with the angle of this depth so in order to do that you can select your layer and you can just move around the center so i'm going to just change its position so let's place it somewhere around here and let's place it at this angle 
just like this and now we can copy this and let's paste it onto the top layer so that the angle is same but we are going to just decrease the amount to negative 50 so there you go now we have our character and let's add some dots to this so in order to do that just select the ellipse tool and we are going to just create a circle so hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle and after that you can select this and let's search for size and let's decrease this so that it's really small something like this now we can select this and we are going to add some repeater to this so let's go under this go to add add a repeater and we are going to change this so number of copies i'm going to set this to 10 and let's go under the transform repeater and from here we are going to change the position and i'm going to set this to something like 50 after that you can select the repeater press ctrl d to duplicate it now let's go to the second repeater and over here i'm going to go under the transform repeater and we are going to just change the position from 50 comma 0 to 0 comma 50 so that we have this really nice grid of dots just like this now we can select these dots and let's place it somewhere around here so that our whole character is covered so just pick a really nice point something like this so yeah this is looking nice and once we're done with this we are ready to add some track mat to this so we can select the top layer and let's press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's place it on top of our shape layer and let's change its track mat so i'm going to select the first layer so that our dots are visible only inside this region and you will notice that our dots are going on top of this so we can fix that by simply selecting our top layer and we don't want any kind of layer style so we can just get rid of both of these so now you can see we have our dots within our region so we are pretty much done with our character and now we are going to just add a little bit of animation to this but before that let's select our background and i'm going to change its color so let's search for fill and let's drag it on to this and i'm going to make this yellow as well so here you can see we have our really nice character and once you're happy with your character you can select all of them and just right click go to pre-compose and i'm going to call this c because this is our first character just click on ok so once you're happy with your character let's select the anchor tool and we're going to add a scaling animation so i'm going to just move this to the bottom somewhere around here and now we are ready to add some scale so let's select this press s and let's add a scale and we are going to set this to zero and we can probably zoom in and let's move it to a couple of frames ahead let's move it to 10 frames and let's set this back to 100 so if i play back here you can see this is a very basic animation and we want some overshoot into this so we can do that by simply adding an expression so you can go to this website and i will put a link in the description from where you can check this out and after that just go to this section which says keyframe overshoot and then just copy this expression and let's copy this and we are going to paste it into the after effects so let's go to the scale property hold down the alt key and just click on this stopwatch and after that it will give you an area where you can paste your expression so just press ctrl v and here you can see we have pasted our expression now if i play back here you can see we have a little bit of bounce and we can increase this by simply moving the keyframes closer so now you can see we have this really nice overshoot animation just like that so now our next step is to add other characters so in order to do that what we are going to do is i'm going to select this c and let's press ctrl d to duplicate it and after that we can go to the projects panel and let's select this c and press ctrl d to duplicate it now i'm going to select the second one and we are going to press enter and let's type a and after that you can select the top layer hold on the alt key and let's select and drag this a so that it will replace this composition with this one now we can open up the a composition and you can see that we have all the character compositions over here and we are going to replace it with the new character comp so let's select this press ctrl d so we have character 2 and now i'm going to select all of them just like that and after that hold down the alt key and then just simply drag this and you can see that all the layers have been replaced now we can go inside the comp and let's change this to a now if i go back to the main comp 
here you can see we have our second character and i can just move it somewhere around here you can see that all the animations are already applied in the same way we can type all our characters so let me just quickly do that so now let's type r so let's select this press ctrl d let's select a press ctrl d let's type r now let's replace this r with this a let's go inside this and replace all these characters with the character 3 just hold down the alt and let's replace this now we can go inside and let's type r now if i go back here you can see we have updated our character just like that make sure to follow these steps clearly otherwise you will have the same characters in all the compositions so i'm going to fast forward this step So there you go now we have typed all the characters and we are ready to align them so let me just quickly select all of them and i'm going to just disable them and let's focus on the c itself so let's place it somewhere around here now we can also add some rotation to this so let's press r and let's rotate it a little bit now let's enable a and i'm going to just place it close to our c and let's press r on to this and let's rotate this little bit so just add a little bit of variation let's add r and let's press r to rotate this just add a little bit of randomness just add a little bit of randomness let's enable t press r to rotate this so here you can see we have typed our characters and let me just quickly select all of them now we can control all of these characters by using a null object so in order to do that let's right click let's create a null object and after that you can select all of these and let's parent it to the null now we can select this press s to scale this down and you can also move it using this null something like this now our next step is to add some spirals over here so in order to do that just simply select the pen tool and after that you can enable the title and action safe now you can click somewhere in the middle and let's zoom out after that you can just click randomly over here and one over here and just close this shape something like this you can zoom in to do it precisely and let me just quickly align this something like that now we are going to add repeater to this as well so let's go under this go to add let's add a repeater and i'm going to change the number of copies to eight let's go under the transform repeater and position we are going to set this to 0 comma 0 and for rotation i'm going to set this to 360 divided by number of copies which is 8 so here you can see we have the spiral and you can see that this is not full size so we can select this and we can select the top points and we can just extend them something like this now let's zoom in and we are going to probably move its anchor point to the center so let's select this layer and let's select the move anchor tool so i'm going to select this anchor point and hold down the control key you can see that it will snap it to the center just like that so once you're happy with this we can add some animation to this so let's select this press r and in the beginning let's add a keyframe let's go to the very end and let's just change this to one so that it will complete one rotation something like this we can also place this below our characters just like that in case some gaps are visible then just simply select these endpoints and just move them more further apart you can also increase its thickness by simply moving these points so let's select this one and i'm going to move this to this side and this one to the other side so now you can see we have our spiral and if i play back here you can see we have the animation now we don't want all the characters to come up at once we can just add a little bit of offset so i'm going to select all of the layers and let's offset them by two frames something like this and now if i play back here you can see we have all the characters coming up with an offset we can also select the shape and let's change its color so i'm going to apply fill and let's pick this color and let's make this lighter just like this now we can also add some drop shadow so let's search for drop shadow and let's apply it onto one of these characters 
and let's play around with its properties so i'm going to just increase the distance and let's decrease the opacity to something like this now we can copy this and let's paste it onto the other characters as well there you go now we have some drop shadow we can also do the same thing on this one so we can play around with the opacity just like this now if you want to add the dots over here as well and just simply go inside one of these composition and let's copy the shape layer and let's just paste it over here and you can move it to one of these corners and let's go under the properties just play around with them let's change this to 25 and the repeater let's change this to 100 instead of 50 let's go to this one and let's change this to 25 as well and let's change this to 100 as well so now you can see we have a bunch of different dots and let's place this below all of them and we can add some colors to this so let's search for fill and let's place it over here and i'm going to change its color to white just like this so here you go in this way you can add some really nice cartoony text animation just like this and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one